What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we are making skirt steak on the Blackstone. That's right, skirt steak, aka churrasco. Man, this is my favorite steak. I've been eating skirt steak, aka churrasco, here in Miami my entire life. I've made it a hundred times. And let me tell you, if you don't know which cut of meat to pick, you may have a problem. So I'm gonna show you the correct one to pick, how to prepare it, how to make it, and it's gonna be awesome every single time. We're also gonna make a homemade chimichurri sauce, which is phenomenal. You're gonna put it right on top. Oh, just wait, <laughs> just wait. You'll, you'll love it, I guarantee it. So if you're new to the channel, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, ring that notification bell, and if you're a current subscriber, thank you for all your support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. So we are going to start off by slicing up a medium to large size onion, okay? And we're using our new acero knife that I recently purchased. This thing is awesome. There's a link in the description below. We're just going to take off that cover off that that onion and then we are going to slice this up into rings so you want to try to cut them pretty thin into rings and we're going to use this to layer the bottom of uh, our Tupperware for marinating so we're going to speed it up here a little bit you just want to make it nice and even and save the other half so once we have that done right there that's the bottom layer. We're going to check out our skirt steaks. Outside skirt steaks. That's right. That's the one you want to get. Not inside. Not flap. If you get those, they're fine. But outside is the best. This is going to be the best skirt steak you've ever had. Trust me. I've tried them all. And this is nice and juicy and uh, tender. That's the key. It doesn't taste like... A tire which I have had some before that have so I'm pulling them out here you can see how long these strips are they are beautiful they've got some fat on them um, but let me tell you they um, we're, we're gonna actually slice them in half here because they are too long for our cutting board and they're kind of too long to manage in the Tupperware and everything else so and you're not gonna serve a steak that's three feet long in it, on the plate anyway so we're gonna cut these down to a nice manageable size and then we are going to season them up we're going to start off with some some salt and just generous amounts here salt it up on one side and we're going to do everything on one side we're going to do on the other so salt we got some fresh ground pepper here right on top of that salt then we're going to add some oregano this is my secret ingredient right here. This kicks it up a notch. Let me tell you, the oregano, uh, I recently added this to my marinade, and it makes all the difference in the world. And then you're going to put some, uh, some minced garlic, and you're going to spread that minced garlic out. Just like so. Spread it out, get it nice and even. Take your time with this. There's no rush get it nice and even you want to coat every inch of that steak and then you're gonna take a lime preferably a lime that's a little you know a little sour I guess it's, it's a little past due past its prime but those you those are the best then we're gonna flip those upside down onto those onions and we're gonna get that onion flavor with everything we just put on top of that and that's the key here we're gonna we're gonna basically make a sandwich with these onions and we put them down there and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side and I'm going to speed it up here for you. So again, same thing that we did on the, the bottom, we're going to do again here on the top. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> the aroma coming off this thing with those onions and the garlic and the lime. Oh my goodness. That and then you're going to cover that up, snap it up and you want that in there for a good four hours. All right, next up, chimichurri. We have some fresh flat leaf parsley we wash. We are going to take out the stems and we're gonna dice these up. Let me go a little quick for you here. So you basically wanna pick out any stems you can and just chop it really fine. 
So all of the ingredients will be in the description below. Uh, but we're going to start off with the parsley here. And you can see what it looks like. Diced up, minced. Minced as fine as you can, basically. Uh, I used two bunches of this parsley. And then I went with some oregano here, two tablespoons. Again, the amounts will be in the description below. But we have two tablespoons of uh, dried oregano. If you have fresh, great. You want some garlic chopped up nice and fine as well. A good tablespoon of that. Chop, 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 chop. Get that in there. And then we are going to add some red wine vinegar. Two tablespoons of this. Dump her in. Some salt, about a teaspoon. <clears throat> some crushed red pepper, about another teaspoon. Or to taste, if you don't want it, that's fine. You can always substitute that for ground pepper as well. And then a half a cup here of Evu, extra virgin olive oil. And that's it. It's real simple. You want to mix this up. So here's where I come to fruition and i this is the first time i try to make homemade um chimichurri so i did it and i didn't like it i did not like the texture i'm sure some people love it but it wasn't for me so i decided to go the other route and i stuck it in my uh my little blender stick blender and i ground that sucker up to into more of a paste and it was so much better and this is what it looks like and this is what i'm used to and that's what i love <laughs> and let me tell you it was phenomenal so that's what we got all right moving on we got the blackstone cranked up we got this on a medium high to high heat these steaks do not take long at all and you do not want to take long to cook them the ideal skirt steak is going to be a medium rare okay but you want it nice and kind of almost burnt like really really crusty on the outside and um, all that marinade is going to help you with that. So here we go. We got it on nice heat. We got some a little bit of oil down. And then boom, we stick them on. You can hear that sizzle. And we're going to put it. This is, this is the most basic way to cook a steak. Super high. Put them on. You get the sizzle. You're going to let them sit there for three, four minutes tops. You're going to turn them and do the same thing. That's it. You're done. So here we go. We got them down. And they are sizzling nice. And that's it. I don't touch them at all at this point. I let them sit for about three and a half minutes. And then I flip them coming up right here. So we fast forward a little bit. And then now time to flip. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that color on those steaks. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what you want to see. They are they're nice and rare on the inside, but look at that outside. That's where that flavor is going to come in right there. So that's it. We're going to check these temperature-wise and just make sure they're where we want to be. I like a medium rare, so talking 130, 135, pull them, and we are ready to go. So just a quick, quick temperature check. Like I said, leave them another three and a half minutes four minutes and that's it <laughs> these are done it's just that quick let's go check them out at that beautiful skirt steak with the homemade chimichurri remember get the outside skirt steak if you can it is so good quick close-up oh yeah look at that perfectly cooked the homemade chimichurri looking delicioso Let's give it a try. I'm gonna pick 
this big fat one right here. Hold on, before I start. You want to try to cut these against the grain, but these were so small, it didn't make sense. So I just cut them with the grain for this particular case, but normally you want to cut them in like four inch strips and then against the grain. But trust me, I know outside skirt steak and these are going to be delicious. So we'll try the first one. Mm. Melt in your mouth. Mm. That is so good. You could taste that marinade, the onions, the garlic, the oregano, the lime, everything comes together. And then that beautiful chimichurri just makes it all that much better. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat.